Greetings, it is Maxo Diddley here, and today I am here with another Java tutorial to help you get an A in your coursework or exam. And today we're here with how to sort an array. So before we begin, be sure to import java.util.arrays and java.util.collections. And now, in this tutorial, we're going to cover how you can sort reference type arrays and primitive type arrays. A reference type is something like a string or another object. And a primitive type could be an integer, a character, boolean, and things like that. And the reason why we're going to be doing different techniques is because you can sort them using different ways. And you'll see why in a moment. Also, we're going to cover how you can sort in ascending and descending order. So this tutorial is not going to just be me saying, right, you get an array, you do arrays.sort, you've sorted your array. There's going to be more to it, so let's get right into it. So, firstly, we have got a string array called words data, and we've populated it with some words in a random order just to use as an example. So, first we're going to print the array in its current form. After that, we're going to do arrays.sort. We pass in our uh, string array, which is words data, and then after we can literally call a print line statement and reprint the array. And let's see what happens. Make sure you save. As you can see, it sorted the array. They're printed in order. So let's say we want to do this in a descending or reversed order where the first element is going to be furthest down in the alphabet and then we go up through the alphabet. Well, we can do the exact same as before, but instead of doing arrays.sort, what we can do is we can do arrays.sort word data, so this is our string array, then we do collections.reverse order. No prizes to anyone who can guess what that does, by the way, but let's hit play. As you can see, it's printed these in the opposite order as before. As you can see, instead of alpha being first, it's actually last. And yo is no longer last, it's actually first. Now, we're going to move on to integer arrays, which is going to be a primitive data type. We have got an int array called int data, and I have populated it with a bunch of good numbers. We've got basic things like 1, 5, 9, 3, 4, 6, 2, 21, 4, 20, 69. We have to get those numbers in because they get views. We've got 42, 40, and 0 to make it fun. And then we're going to literally do again. We're going to print the array in its current order. Then we're going to do arrays.sort int data. So like before, we pass in our array into this sort function. And then we just print out our array again. But hopefully it'll be in order. So make sure to save. Pause the video if you want to write this down. As you can see, it sorted the numbers in numerical order, going from 0 to 420. But let's say we want to do this in the opposite order. Well, it's not that simple. So because our int array is a primitive data type array, we can't actually do the arrays.sort collections reverse order. That only works on reference type arrays. Therefore, we're going to have, have to actually do some work ourselves and not just call a bunch of functions. But don't worry, it's a really simple for loop to go about doing this. So after we call the arrays.sort function, we want to do this fancy for loop. And before you ask, Max, why are we sorting this in ascending order and then doing the for loop? Well, basically what we're going to do is we're going to sort the array in order. And after that, we're just going to swap the position of the characters in that array. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the outer two most characters and swap them. Then we go in by one, take those two characters, swap them, and we're going to repeat until we get to the middle of the array. After that, everything that was at the start of the array will be at the end, and everything that's at the end of the array will be at the start. We're basically just swapping all the elements in the array. But it only works to do a reversed order if they're in order, which is why we do the arrays.sort. 
So we do for int i equals zero, i less than int data dot length, because we only need to do this for half of the array, otherwise everything will just be back in the order it started in, which we don't want. And then we do i plus plus. We do int temp equals int data i. Int data i equals int data, int data dot length, minus i minus one. And then we do int data, int data dot length, minus i, minus one equals temp. And literally we are taking the out the outer two most elements, swapping them. We go in by one on each side. We take those numbers and we swap them. We do that again. We take those numbers and we're swapping them. That's all this for loop is doing. It's really nice, really simple, and will complement other things you're doing, like a bubble sort, for example, or a swap function. After that, we're just going to print out the array, which will be in a reverse order. So let's save our work and hit play. As you can see, 420 and 69 are at the front of this sorted array because it's a reversed order or a descending order. And we set the funny numbers again. Anyway guys, that's it for this quick tutorial. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed. We will be doing more sorting tutorials for Java. Like sorting a 2D array, a 2D array list and list, and a few sorting algorithms as well to help you with the theory. But thanks for being a great audience and I will see you next time.